What is up everybody? Welcome back to Double Thought Doors. As you guys can tell by the title, this is the recap video of the Ohio River. And you may be wondering, where was the prep and the actual tournament footage? Well, we had some problems getting footage for the prep video. And then I really didn't get any good footage at the river. I caught one fish for two pounds, six ounces. I finished 32nd officially, which moved me into 63rd in points, which means I have 18 more spots to go to make the regional. I didn't get my fish catch on video. My camera had died right before I caught the fish. Decided not to change it. That's just how this goes. Um, I'm hoping to kind of figure out a better way to capture film for next year or for the next tournament for the regional. Um, spend a lot of our time getting ready for Shelbyville. It's gonna be a do or die tournament there as well. Um, real quick, before we get too far into this recap, it's gonna be a really quick recap. I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible. I wanted to talk to you guys about three books that mean a lot to me. As you guys know, I've talked about my faith in God on this channel um, and what the meaning behind our channel is. And, and just, you know, I'm a pastor on the weekends and, and Jesus plays a very big part of my life and something I try to do every day. I don't do it, I don't get it done every day, but I, I strive every day um, to spend time with God um, every morning. And these three books I'm about to show you are some awesome books that are outdoor themed um, that I wanted to share with you guys. If you're looking for a devotional book or if, if you don't know about Jesus um, and you want to know more, I definitely recommend these books. So the first one right here, this is by Steve Chapman, A Look at Life from a Deer Stand. Um, I love this book. It's an awesome little book. It's got it's got 75 little devotionals in here. They're about one, they're about two, three pages long, and they're all kind of themed um, along. It, it's a hunting book, obviously, it looks like, but like Skipping in the Dark, Little Foxes and Big Toenails, Safety Belt Attack, The Trail, Apple Seed. So they, they all kind of have um, something about whitetail. In the back, it says, Just You Got and a Whitetail Perfect. And Steve Chapman, um, he, he is a hunter. Um, and he wrote this book and it's awesome. It's talking about his past experience and stuff like that. So I'm going through this one right now. I definitely recommend this one for you hunters or just avid outdoorsmen. Um, these next two are more fishing themed. I am a huge Jimmy Houston fan. He has impacted my life a lot. Professing believer, great faith in God and, and just amazing if you've been following his channel, what's been going on with his wife and her stroke, just to hear his faith. But on this first one, I just got this one actually, is Jimmy Houston's um, Catch of the Day. There's 365 days in here. So one devotional, a day has a little verse and stuff like that. So let's read. I'm a little behind, but let's read just a little snippet from today's. The verse is Mark 11:25. 25. When you are praying, if you are angry with someone, forgive him so that your father in heaven will also forgive your sins. Looks like it he shares a story about when he trout fishes and how he's hiked to a spot. Just talking about how, you know, that's, you know, it's hard sometimes to pray, but we need to do it. And then it, tells, and then it has a fishing tip on every page as well. Try rigging the same crankbait with different line sizes to fish different depths. So um, this is an awesome little book. I highly recommend I'm going through this one right now. Um, I love this book. It takes five minutes or less to do. Great way to start your morning. And then this other one, this one's been out for a while. I don't, know if you can, I don't even know if you can still find it because it's got pictures of him with the old fashioned collared fishing jerseys, but Hooked for Life by Jimmy Houston. Um, once again, just little, little pages, then that's it. And there's not one for every day, um, but like right here, just little, little great things talking about um, Jesus and how it relates to fishing. So I wanted to talk about those um, as we started um, this video. Hooked for Life and Catch of the Day by Jimmy Houston. Catch of the Day, I highly recommend. It's 365 Day Devotional. And then A Look at Life from a Deer Stand. Um, Look at Life from a Deer Stand and Catch of the Day are both books. All three of these, um, just five minutes of your morning. I try to do a chapter of each of them in my mornings, but they're great little ways to start your day off right. So, um, But now let's shift to the tournament at the river. It was a tough one. We went into a creek and stayed that same creek for eight hours. We grounded it out. It was a tough tournament overall, I think. You know, one fish for two six got me 32nd. I mean, I think that tells you there were 95 boaters, 95 boaters and co's. I threw a lot of different stuff. I tried crankbaits, um, jigs. I tried a lot of things. and. Just like the river last year, Ned Rig is where I got everything done on. Caught my fish on a Ned Rig, had several bites on the other one. On, 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 I got several bites on a Ned Rig, had a couple gar, stuff like that. But um, that was the bait that got it done and I ended up throwing it most of the day again. And I, and I went in knowing I was probably gonna throw it a lot. Plans were changed a little bit when we didn't fish main river stuff like riprap and stuff. And we were actually in a creek with laydowns and stuff, but still threw the Ned Rig around. And uh, guys, like I told you before, I, I'm pretty simple. Fifth ounce Ned Rig head. I use the Z-Man Ned Rig heads and the Wu Tungsten Ned Rig heads. Throw it on spinning, spinning line, spinning tackle. Been using the new 7-1 um, spinning medium heavy rod from Favorite, the B-Lat six stick, six stick Special. Love that rod, it's a great rod. Slowly becoming one of my favorite rods. I'm gonna do a video on it very soon. It's a phenomenal rod. Um, B-Lat did a great job. Uh, Brian Latimer did a great job designing it. Um, I throw it on 20 pound braid with an eight pound um, fluoro leader. And that seems to be do the trick for me. So guys, like you said, I, I have lots of Ned Rig baits, but it, the simpler, the better in my opinion. 
and it could not be any more true um, than it was for this tournament. These right here, that's it. Finesse TRD and the big TRD, um, both in Green Pumpkin. These are the baits I was throwing all day. You can throw baits, you know, especially in the high river I found, I think you can throw baits that have rattles, um, flaps, you know, the nat rattling net, I, I like throwing that. I threw it a little bit that day, um, you know, the TRD ticklers from Z-Man. For some reason, those river fish, man, they're just, I mean, all river fish I think are tough, but um, these ones right here, uh, these baits, this is simple, um, just a green pumpkin, different sizes. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys, you know, I, I fished them, I throw them out, and I just work them back just like a Ned Rig, um, very thorough. Um, light, you know, kind of twitching action. Um, if you guys want to see how I really fish a Ned Rig video, um, click the bookmark up there at the top to my Ned Rig fishing tips video. And that's what I did, man. And I just rolled with it and it was a grind, but I got the one bite I needed. It was on two pound. It was almost a two and a half pounder um, that got me the points I needed. You know, I was hoping to jump to make the jump. I was hoping for another top 10. And I feel like if I could have executed just a little better, I missed one, I know it was a bass. And there's, I felt like I had another one early in the day um, that I was messing with some line and stuff and I feel like I had a bite and I missed it. I mean, that could have put me in the top 10. Three fish for five pounds ended up being like fifth or something. So um, that would have probably put me in pretty good spot going to Shelbyville, but we're gonna have to fight hard. Um, you know, 18 spots we gotta make up Shelbyville. This lake's had my number. Um, I squeezed in last year on the last event, and I'm hoping I can do the same thing this year. I would love to go. I think I need three fish, I told my wife. I think I need three fish at Shelbyville. I think that's a tall order, um, but I think I can get it done. I'm doing a lot of work. You're going to see a Ned Rig being used quite a bit again. So, um, as I shared on my Instagram post, um, I have a little secret um, that I use that helped me catch that bigger fish um, at the river um, that goes along with a Ned Rig. Um, I got a little tip I want to share with you guys. I don't want to share it yet though. I want to keep it in the bag at least until after Shelbyville. So I'll do a video on that, uh, a Ned Rig fishing, uh, secret fishing tip I found that has uh, produced quite a few fish for me uh, over the last year. So um, other than that, real quick, close out the video. Since we didn't have all the chances we had, um, you're going to have this video and then the prep video for Shelbyville. We're going to make a big series for Shelbyville since we're fishing for our lives. Um, but if you guys saw my video on my Instagram, we are giving away a lure lock discount code. Um, as you guys know, I partnered with Lurelock this year. Absolutely love their products. Great product. I'm going to have some more on the way very soon. Um, but I've got a 20% off one item code I want to give you guys. Um, so here's the ways you can enter. You can go to my Instagram and find the original post. Um, and that's three entries right there if you do the things that are on that post. But then to gain um, some more entries here, um, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment below, hashtag Lurelock. And then I want to, I want to hear you guys tell me what your favorite Ned rig bait is, whether that's a TRD, whatever that may be. Um, I want you to, guys to tell me that below, and that's three more entries, so that's six. And then you will have a couple more entry opportunities um, on the prep video for Shelbyville, and then we will announce the winner of the code at the recap video from Shelbyville. So no matter what happens, whether we make the regional or not, we're gonna release that. So, hey, go look out, I'll, I'll link uh, my Instagram below, go check it out to get those first three entries in. We didn't have a lot of people enter, so, and then you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment below. That's three other entries that you guys can get, so um, definitely go check that out. I highly recommend Lure Locked products and this 20% off one product code. Um, it's a great way to get you guys started on those awesome products, but, um, you know, that's that's what we're doing. And guys, these books I was talking about, this is something really special. I mean, I'll link all these books below. Um, the other thing is, this look at the life from a deer stand, it's, it's $5. Um, my wife got this for me at Hobby Lobby. Um, the Jimmy Houston book was $15 or something like that. And the, the Hooked on Life, my dad's had that book for a long time. That's an older book. I don't know how much that one runs. But guys, I definitely recommend you guys get these books. Um, it's just a great start to the day. Um, I think it's a great... Um, refresher and it doesn't have to be the start of the day sometimes i read them at night um, but i love sitting out on my porch in the morning with some y'all sweet tea that's what i got in here get a glass of y'all sweet tea um, or coffee sometimes i get coffee depending on how much of a rush i'm in and just to read i read like i said i read all three um, but just to take time and read these i think it's just a great way um, to get started another thing is is if i'm in a blind i normally don't do this in a tree stand but sometimes if i'm in a blind i'll take one of these books and i'll read a little devotional while i'm sitting in the blind before shooting light um especially when during hunting season. So um, please go check those books out, guys. You guys won't regret it. They have helped me tremendously um, grow in my faith and to continue to grow as a Christian. And if you have questions about Jesus or questions about God, I, I would love to answer those questions. Like I said, I'm a pastor on the weekends. Um, and if I, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, um, 
you know, please don't hesitate to ask. I've actually thought about trying to find a way of us going through one of these books together here on YouTube. So I'd love to do that with you guys. But um, guys, thank you for listening. Um, do not forget the opportunity to go enter that lure lock um, giveaway. I definitely recommend it. Can't wait to share the secret with you guys. I'm going to keep it in my bag though for now. Um, and guys, just be praying and pulling for us as we get ready for Shelbyville. We've got about two weeks. I'm getting kind of nervous. Um, I, I want to make it back to the regional, so we're going to have to fight hard. But guys, that's all we got time for today. Thank you for all your support. Thanks for tuning in. Go show Lure Lock and all my partners love. They're down below. Um, without them, this would not be possible. So guys, until the next episode, peace. In 2020, we embarked on a journey not quite sure where it would take us. After a rough season, we squeezed into the FLW BFL Regional in just the final few events. We had a good showing at the regional, finishing in the 80s, but we set our minds this year to getting back there, to fishing well enough to again make the MLF Big Five Regional. After a rough start to the season, it seemed like maybe our season was falling apart a little bit and frustration was setting in. But then... There's one. Next out of Rochester, Illinois, Neil Farish, quality points. We started to put together Neil good Ferris. finishes. Bag for Neil, weighing in two pounds, six ounce, two six. Pretty soon it looked like maybe the regional was still within reach. We would have to fish hard, and it all came down to one lake that had had my number the last two years, Lake Shelbyville. September 11th and 12th, we're going to Lake Shelbyville again. Um, like I said, that's the tournament last year I qualified for the regional on. I don't want to be in that place again. While we didn't want to be fighting for survival going into the last event of the year, I am extremely blessed, and now my focus shifts to Shelbyville, a lake that has had my number the last two years, hoping for once again another shot at the regional. We fished hard this year, we've never given up. We've got one more event, and we're going to grind to make it happen. Shelbyville, I'm coming for you. You better be ready.